So Tyler, first chance we've had to speak to you. How, yeah. how have you found it here so far? No, I've enjoyed every minute so far. It's um, yeah, it's been a change. I mean, I was at Reading for four years, and uh, to come here to a club like this is, um, I mean, it's a it's a privilege, it's an honour for me um, in terms of the history of the club and the way in which the club is now progressing. Um, yeah, I mean, when I heard that the club were interested, it was um, kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. What what prompted the move then, from your point of view? Um, to be honest, the club have been trying to sign me for probably the last two years, I think. Um, in terms of ownership and they've been trying to bring me in for the last two years and um, it came close um, last season I believe um, but yeah it didn't manage to happen and I've always wanted to be involved in such a project um, in terms of getting to the Premier League and achieving promotion and that kind of thing so um, so yeah like I said it was no brainer when they when they came back. What does that do for you then as a player when you know that a club's come back once, twice to make sure that yeah. they're able to get you? Yeah no it gives you, it gives you that confidence and you know that the club have a belief in you as a player and um, they have a vision for what they want to do as well. So it's um, that reassurance that you that you need, which um, it goes a long way. Obviously, you come at, at the end of last season, Forest were almost there, but we're now yeah. at the end of the yeah. year. What sort of mood have you noticed when you've come in now and met the players ahead of the new season? Yeah, no, everyone's upbeat. Everyone's um, excited to to get started again this season. I mean, it's been a short break, but everyone's um, yeah, raring to go and they want to put things right from last season, of course, and it's just about now focusing on what we have to do this season. Yeah, it has been a weird song, hasn't it? Yeah. Knowing when to train, yeah. when not to train, you know, like not knowing when you're going to restart. Yeah. How, how are you kind of fitness-wise? Where are you on the schedule normally being ready for a start of the season? Um, to be honest, I feel, I feel good. I mean, I was, I was fit towards the end of last season, so um, there was no injuries there. and. Going into this season, I've now had a full pre-season, say, with um, with the club here. So it's been, um, yeah, it's been it's been enjoyable. To be fair, I think everyone's up to speed now and everyone's pushing the right direction, which is good. Since you talk about the, the project that the club's got on, and obviously with owners who came in a couple of years ago, mm. and Sabri now who's into mm. his second year and says he's learned a lot. Yeah. A few players of championship experience yeah. like yourself in. What is it then about that vision that that you've heard that? appeals so much to you? No, it's a, for me it's a, it's a focus. I think everyone has the, the same focus, which is to achieve what we all want to achieve, which is to be promoted. And it's um, when you have a team and I'm going to say team, I mean staff and everyone who works within the club working towards that, it makes it all round. It's a great thing and it's, it makes it even more possible. I mean, I'm old enough to remember a lot of history. Yeah. You're not, but clearly it's yeah. still a factor for you that, that yeah. the name Forest is still that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for, for, the, for the times I've played here in the away games and, and when you see the stadium and the, the fans and the size of the club, it's a, it's a big thing. And when I came to signing, you see the Champions League trophies in the, in the cabinet and that kind of thing. It, it shows what, what, what a historic club this is. What about Sabri Lelouchi? Yeah, I've enjoyed working with him so far. I mean, it's um, I kind of knew a bit about him just from players who have played here, but um, just working with him day to day now, you can see his enthusiasm and the way he approaches the game and everything is quite methodical and he's got a, a real uh, positive approach to, to the way he deals with the players as well. So the season starts oddly this Saturday, but yeah. as we said, everything's all about yeah. this year. So it starts Saturday in, in, in the League Cup, and mm -hmm. again, behind closed doors. How are you feeling about getting started in the forest yet? Yeah, no, I can't wait to be fair. I mean, like I said, I've enjoyed the, the pre-season so far and it's, um, yeah, it seems like um, it's coming at the right time in terms of the team where we are now in terms of fitness and the, the confidence which we have and, um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting start. Then it's going to be a busy season, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's going to look yeah. at the fixture list, 13 midweeks instead of the usual eight, you've got eight yeah. games through December. That, it's going to be a, a tough slog, I think, this year, isn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. But I think that's the that's the reason behind the signings which have come in, and obviously the team from last season. It's now to have an all-round team which can compete week in, week out. And after two days, three day, three days where there's back-to-back um, -back games, it's um, it's important to have that to have that squad which is going to be able to to compete. Good man, I'll see you next time. Thank you. I'm just going to do you still have any chats with the players about where? You know, obviously what went wrong at the end of last season with Forest, but kind of what they might think about doing things differently to make it different. Um, I mean, we we spoke as a, I've not spoke personally, but we spoke as a team, um, and from from what the what the boys have said who were here last season, it's more about the fine details. So whether it's um, 
not conceding in last minutes or scoring chances which we may have missed. Um, it's just those fine details which need to be which need to be really looked upon this season, and that will help us. At the end of last season, obviously, teams played for a few games to finish off the season. Mm. What about the prospect of playing potentially most of the season? Yeah. Behind closed doors without fans there. Is yeah, I mean, it's it's unfortunate, obviously, for the fans and um, for the people that that really want to watch us watch us play, but. Um, at the same point, we we have to focus on the job, and we know that if we're if we're out there, we're winning games, and we're doing well with them, the fans are going to be happy as well. The reason I'm asking is obviously City Ground, when home fans are here, the roar is just huge yeah. and stuff. And yeah. I wonder whether that kind of home advantage away kind of dissipates a little bit if you haven't got. Yeah, I mean, I mean, of, of course, it. I mean, the fans always help, especially when you sometimes when you're on the back foot and they give you that that extra boost, and even when you're winning and they help you along to 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 get a win and until the final whistle it's it's always a boost but at the same point like I said it's it's really about us just really putting that to the side now and we know the situation but we have to deal with it and we have to make sure that we perform so that the fans can be happy wherever they're watching. You mentioned obviously that Forrest and Hats have been sort of chasing you for a little while now. Yeah. Well, what, was there a reason why you're playing hard to get? To be honest, um, no I mean to be honest I'll, I'll be quite honest I mean last, last um, I think it was last January when when they came in um, I was. I wanted to come. I was. I wanted to be a part of it then, but obviously it wasn't. It wasn't made possible. But um, but no, it was just. It's just the way things worked out, and and yeah, now I'm finally here.